What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a build walk around of my good friend Jerry's Tacoma. Stay till the end because we're also gonna be doing a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. After the interview, we're also gonna go a little bit in depth on actually what he does for a living and just what he can do for you guys if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and get to the video and we'll show you what he has. How's it going guys? Well, my name is Jerry. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit on my truck. Well, first of all, it's a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Well, let's start with the pods. So I have the bottom designs for the Fox, the Esquadron pod. The reason why I have them is because they're pretty nice at all. And honestly, while you're driving, I mean, you can see, you know, way further in front of you. And, um, and of, of course the color, you know, it goes pretty good with the, with the blue. So I really like it. And as you guys can see, I don't have the, the TRD grill. So I have a TRD Pro and a lot of guys they go with it because you know it gives you a better look so pretty much i like it better and for my headlights i just have leds uh a friend just hooked me up with with some i don't remember the brand exactly but they're pretty bright for my pots i have the dual pots uh they are gg lighting uh, both of them they have the projectors so you know you can see far away and honestly i like them i have I had them for like probably like two years already and the quality is pretty nice and I know someone's gonna ask why do you have two of them actually um, you know for foggy rods or whatever um, the Fox you know they're pretty nice because you know they go under or they go flush with the roll let's say but when you turn out the other ones I mean um, you can see also the bottom and also the top of your of your view so that's why I liked him. I just, it was just a test, but honestly, I just finished it up liking it. And if someone wants to, uh, what kind of brackets are those? Cause I know that's a little bit different than the regular setup. Exactly. Well, actually those I made him by, by myself. And so, um, definitely you're not going to find them out there. If someone wanted to buy them, would they be able to hit you up and you can make them a set or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So those are crazy. Like... If you guys want to run dual pods. So yeah, man, let we'll me get know. into the little uh, details later in the video, so stay tuned. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you what suspension I went with. A lot of people, they go with pretty known brands, but I try to be my truck a little bit different. I went with the uh, ADS 2.5s, coilovers, with Resis, um, 700 pound coil. The reason why is because, like I told you, I wanted to be my truck a little bit different. And honestly, I'm pretty pretty happy with, with the suspension. Honestly, it's, it's been it been pretty good to me. For my tires, as you guys can see, I'm running the uh, Falcon Wall Peaks. Um, I'm in 33s right now. My wheels a uh, BTX Terrace in bronze, 17s, with a little bit of offset. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit on my sliders. As you guys know, I have my own company called BSAF. Oh, I'm gonna spell you guys uh, what kind of designs I have, different uh, trucks and, and brands. These are the low pros, so basically just a slim line, you know, pretty close to the calf and also give you a lot of protection. Have different designs, um, anything you guys need, we will go over it, you know, at the end of the video. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit of, uh, of the tent. I went with my friend Edgar, TLD top line, and he did a pretty good work over here. And honestly, well, it's a limo tent, you know, I don't like sun and I don't like it in my eyes. So <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty dark, yeah, pretty gnarly at night, but you know, it but it looks good <laughs> inside my cab i haven't done that much just for the floor mats i have the weather techs i really like them guys honestly uh, if you're trying to keep clean your truck that's the way to go honestly i have a pretty unusual setup over here not a lot of people has them because they prefer the cup holders but <laughs> that's not me and i have a switch panel over here with uh, six different switches and also i have the usb ports and my battery meter which is really important when you go off the trails for my rear i have the 2.5 ads piggybacks the reason i went with the piggybacks personally for me i don't like to be dealing with any hoses or leaking so that's why i went with the piggybacks you know something more secure i have uh, the all my name you the cars leaf packs i'm pretty happy with them since i have my rack and my all my setup my tent so when you put a lot of weight, you know, usually your truck settles down a little bit. For my camping setup, 
I have the, the BFAB Rack Overlander series. I have my RTT, the uh, uh, Smithville XL. I don't have it right now since, you know, I need to drive my truck around. So that's a lot of weight and a lot of MPGs. All right, so if you guys stay till the end of this video, you guys are gonna get a one-on-one -on -one interview with the one and only Jerry, the owner of Beast Fab. So let's go ahead and start with this. What made you get a Tacoma? Uh, well, actually guys, um, you know, I've always been a Toyota guy since I was little. So I, I have an 86 Toyota pickup, which is my daily driver. 22 hour engine and all that. So basically you cannot go wrong with Toyotas. So, and whereas I could afford one, so like definitely I go for it. And I got my Tacoma. Damn. <laughs> and it's beautiful, <laughs> as you guys just saw. <laughs> you, yeah. We gave them a little bit sneak peeks kind of of what you do, but mm -hmm. you want to go ahead and explain your company and just kind of what you do actually for a living? Okay, for sure. Uh, all right guys, so basically, like Jason said, I own BeastFab, uh, which is, you know, everything started like a year and a half ago. Uh, I used to be a full-time welder, working in a shop, you know, item worker, uh, working for buildings and all that kind of stuff. So, but basically, you know, I really like it, but um, I wanted to do something more, um, you know, more different, which I really knew how to weld and how to fabricate. So, I was like, might as well do try something different. And that's where everything started. So right now, you know, um, thank God I have my own shop. And, but before I used to be working in my garage and having all the customers there. And, but you know, thank you guys. Everything started getting big and getting a lot of customers. So basically it was kind of hard to have everyone in my house and which the neighbors they were starting complaining because I was taking the whole block of parking and then they thought I was a drug dealer because I had forty thousand dollars truck coming in and out and, and they're like is this guy doing you know but yeah but right now you know I can say that um, I can really take care of you guys in a professional way and have you guys wedding in a in an actually waiting room and you don't have to be anymore you know sitting there in the sun or this and that just waiting for your truck and you know i'm pretty happy with it and thank you guys for showing all the support and thank you guys we're doing this the best way possible and honestly um i want to thank jesse too for coming over and show you guys a little bit of what i do my build and everything so yeah, man, that's what I do for now. So if you guys do want to hit him up, of course, all his information is going to be in the description box below. Um, I mean, he makes anything from rock sliders, from bed racks to just almost anything that has to do with uh, welding and fabrication. So if you guys even maybe he can do some custom work, uh, I'm going to let you explain just a little more in depth about your company. Um, you want to just let them know what else you can do besides yeah. that? Yeah, for sure. So basically, uh, you know, my name is BeastFav, you know, it means fabrication. So um, I do, um, I do make sliders, uh, bad racks, um, you know, uh, general fabrication for your Toyota brand. And, you know, now uh, products wise, so I can get you guys any, any suspension you guys need, any, any brand. Um, we do installs, uh, whatever you guys need, all that kind of stuff, CMCs, cam tabs, um, any modifications. Um, like I told you, products, so you guys need um, calls for suspensions, uh, for uh, aftermarket products, wheels, tires, and all that. We're starting getting into all that kind of stuff. So now, you know, as a delicious um, business, so now we are open to all that. So. Whatever you guys need, just um, yes, you're gonna drop off my information and everything. So yeah, hit me up. If you guys do end up hitting him up, I mean, you could always let him know that I sent you or that you saw him from the yeah. video. This may be a weird question, uh, but when someone says, uh, "Man, I really love your products," or just "Man, like seriously, the, the quality behind this is just really good," how does that make you feel uh, as a, as a person or as a, you building your company? Well, man, that's a good question. And honestly, uh, when first all started, um, I was like, uh, you know, trying to get out there the quality product, so that make me feel, you know, proud of it. And you know, reputation is all. 
So I think um, that's why you customers can go out there and you know put a word on you because you're doing a great job. So and quality wise, I can assure you guys that I do my best and. Uh, and also, uh, you know, I have all my certifications that can show you guys that um, what I do and I know how to do it. So, and and yeah, man, I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I could tell you uh, to go out there in the meet or in a trail and see all the trucks having my product and, you know, just handshake and or get that message that is telling you, you know what, man? I just today I just punish your sliders, and just you know save head to the hell you my truck, and and you know that's pretty you know that's good uh, feeling. yeah good feeling. It motivates me a lot, and you know it's just um, something that it not really can explain it with words, but um, you know honestly yeah I mean it makes me feel pretty good and and just uh, with a lot of. Just trying to keep going and and keep growing too, you know. But yeah, man, that's that's what I feel. On a personal standpoint, because I do know him on a personal level, I just want to let you guys know this guy's such a humble, nice guy. I'm just Thank letting you, you guys know Thank overall. <laughs> I know you guys can't really notice this in camera, but I'm just letting you know in person that's the way he is. Thank you guys. In in case you need something like if you're in the area and you're having a hard time like uh you know what man or one of my shots just blew off and i'm stuck over here this and that need your help or whatever i'm in the san bernardino area so if you guys need anything it doesn't matter what time is it i'm over here to help out and and it doesn't matter guys just shoot me a message shoot me a call an email or, or whatever i'm here to help all right so that's pretty much going to do it for today's video uh, once again, thank All you. Right, thank you guys for coming, guys. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys can, please make sure to share the video, uh, share his company. So please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.